Hey, what's happening, you one Sir James coming at you guys with another video, and today GameStop has officially released their Black Friday ad for 2017. If you guys recall, last week I did a video based on the leaked ad online, and for the most part, it's basically identical. However, they did add a few things towards the end. So if you didn't see the leaked ad, then we are going to go ahead and go through the entire ad in this video. If you guys want to see the ad for yourself, a link is provided in the description down below. So let me go ahead and zoom in so that way you guys can see it a bit better, especially if you're on the mobile phone. So I think that should be good enough. You should be able to see it nice and clear. All right, so first off, GameStop will be opening up their doors on Thursday afternoon at 4 p.m., Places like Best Buy and Target will open up at 5, and the, uh, what was it, Walmart will also be opening up at 6, so that way you can kind of plan your activity or have people wait in different areas. All right, so first thing is our console deals. They do have the main deal that a few other locations are as well. For $190, you can get the Xbox One S 500 gigabyte model. Now, fortunately, there is no gift card or controller bundle uh, at GameStop, but if you did want the Xbox One S, and for this price, I would recommend getting it at Best Buy because at Best Buy, you would get a second controller basically free. Or if you don't want a controller, you can get one at Target, in which then you would get a $25 gift card. So it's kind of up to you. But my recommendation, if you want the S model, get it at Best Buy, get a second controller, and that way you just kind of have two controllers already. And of course, the other deal, they do have the PlayStation 4 Pro for $350, so that's $50 in savings. And of course, they have the PlayStation 4 Slim 1 terabyte for $200 as well. Now, it does say right here a free $50 GameStop gift card with the purchase of a one terabyte PS4. Now, it doesn't say Slim model or Pro. Uh, it just basically states one terabyte, so I assume that this also applies to the Pro, but I can't confirm that. So my recommendation is if you're not sure, I ask a GameStop associate if that deal applies to the Pro as well, but I know it applies for the Slim for sure, but double check on the Pro. Now in the uh, next section, the middle page, we have some great deals here, the Evil Within 2, Wolfenstein 2, and Middle Earth Shadow of War, and this applies for both versions of the console, just so you guys are fully aware. For $25, a great deal in my opinion. As for me, I'm actually going to be picking up Wolfenstein 2 because I already picked up the Evil Within 2 from the pre-Black Friday sale and same with the Middle Earth Shadow of War. So it's something I'm looking forward to. They also have a killer deal on Injustice 2 for $14. Another one that has my initial interest and I'm sure maybe some of you who are into some fighting games. They also have a pretty good deal over here for Destiny 2 for $27. And this deal will only apply from Thursday until Friday. So if you try to go there on Saturday, it's not going to be $27 anymore. Now, for anyone wondering, is GameStop going to have those exclusive Funko Mystery Boxes? Yes, they will, as you can see over here on the far right-hand side. This will include three GameStop exclusive mystery collectibles, including one of five 8-bit pop vinyls. And, of course, they also have a get a pre-owned Xbox 360 for $0 with a mail and rebate. And, of course, a few collectible sales, like those Pixel Pals that I've been showing you guys throughout the, uh, basically my time here on YouTube. For 10 bucks, solid deal. Going over to page two, some good deals here. Some Overwatch, Game of the Year Edition, and of course, Fallout 4 for $30 each. Down here on the bottom, you have one of the games going for Game of the Year 2017, which is Persona 5. I personally have not played it yet. I'm probably going to get a lot of hate for it, but I do plan on picking it up during the initial sell, so not to worry. Yokozai Zero for zero dollars, a fun beat em up, brutal at the same time. And if you guys are looking for some good deals on LEGO Dimensions or even some Skylanders, I do recommend mostly Toys R Us because they have some crazy deals like buy one get three for free, just so you guys are aware. So some pretty decent deals here in the $15 bin, such as the combo for the first Wolfenstein and expansion, Dishonored, and of course Borderlands, the Handsome Jack Collection. In the $10 range, you have a Nintendo Switch game known as Has Been Heroes. It's actually a really fun game, and uh, it's actually proving a lot of a challenge as well. It can get a little bit frustrating for sure. And of course, if you are picking up a PlayStation 4, or if you have one but you've never played it, The Last of Us Remastered, it's $10. Bucks. You have no excuse not to pick that one up, just saying it. 
Plus, we're waiting for the second one, which uh, hopefully will be here at PSX. It's the uh, next up we have it's the Grand Theft Auto 5 and Skyrim. And it's going in the $20 bin here. Some really good solid deals here. Kingdom Hearts 1.5, 2.5, along with 2.8 over here. 20 bucks each, worthy additions. These are PlayStation exclusives. Of course, Uncharted 4. It's the Rainbow Six Siege. What else we got here? World of Final Fantasy, Dragon Ball Z, Xenoverse 2, Rise of the Tomb Raider. Um, I'm not sure how Knack 2 performed. Let's see, we also have Bioshock Infinite Collection. Again, solid deals. In the $25 bin, we have games like Tekken 7. Let's see, Dragon Quest Heroes 2, Nier Automata, and The Witcher 3 Game of the Year Edition. I mean... This doesn't get any better than that. So again, some really good recommendations there. Moving on over to page number four. Some minor deals here. I would say the most noticeable ones in this top portion here would be... Um, I'm not entirely sure if For Honor still has an active server because I know it's kind of died down a lot. So that one's a questionable mark. But Final Fantasy, you can't go wrong with that one. Killing Floor 2 is also a fun game. If you never got it during PlayStation Plus, then 20 bucks. I mean, definitely not bad. Uh, they do have a minor deal going on for some Skylanders, though, such as these little crystals here, creation crystals for five bucks. Pretty good deal. Over here on the left hand side where Crash Bandicoot is located, they do have a GameStop exclusive pop figure. So if you do collect the pops, do keep in mind that the classic Crash Bandicoot there would be located. I've also seen one over at Hot Topic if you have uh, been wanting to get the exclusives. And let's see, over here in the $20 bin, we have some other exclusive deals, such as Horizon Zero Dawn. I mean, if, you, if you're getting a PlayStation 4, again, it's a must-have game. Same with all the Uncharted games, because they also have Uncharted The Lost Legacy that came out this year. Another solid title. I mean, you're... Again, you're doing yourself a favor by picking those up. There's a lot of good offers. Going on page number five, some minor deals here. They do have some of the GameStop exclusive options, such as the see-through crystal for $38, which I may consider picking up, but I never end up using a second controller anyways. Uh, but see, a minor sell for PlayStation VR. As for the headsets, again, you're going to have to kind of look at reviews to kind of see what works for you or what would be your recommendation. Let's see, and of course, on the bottom here is basically some pre owned deals. Uh, these would be uh, normally $10 each or three for 20. And the middle section here, these are $15 each. And then over here on the far right hand side, these are. $20 each, but honestly, if you think about it, you can get The Witcher 3 uh, with all the DLC Game of the Year edition for 5 bucks more brand new. Just throwing that out there. Going on to page number 6, uh, they have a lot of different collectibles because as you guys didn't know, GameStop and ThinkGeek are kind of combined together, so you're going to find some interesting things. Um, such as ornaments and all that fun stuff and of course Christmas mugs uh, but they do have some pretty good deals for some puzzles and caps and they usually have a nice selection and look check it out they got a Tamagotchi if you guys remember those man it's been a long time going on page number seven here a, a few minor deals here uh, nothing too noticeable I mean if you are into Kingdom Hearts and you're looking at this figure here um, don't get it at GameStop because it's normally $25, which is $10 more than what Target and Toys R Us sells them for. You can find these for $15 bucks over there. And uh, again, really nothing much here unless you're into Roblox or something, but again, nothing there. Going on page 8, just a few different bundle deals for the Xbox One S. And it's the Save $35, a popular game that a lot of people seem to be into. I never really got into it myself, but Friday the 13th, if you're looking for a popular game as far as multiplayer goes, that one would be the wise choice there. And see the Elder Scrolls Morrowind, or in this case the Elder Scrolls Online Morrowind edition was actually a really good expansion. And the middle section here I definitely recommend if you have the Xbox One is Halo Wars 2. 20 bucks, I mean a solid deal. Going on to page number 9, um, let's see, nothing much going on here. They do have a sell for the Rocket League here. 
uh, for $15. I mean, that's a worthy of a pickup. This is actually the physical edition, not the digital option. And of course, they have a minor sell for some of the, um, basically, these are the pullback and go type vehicle races. So if you kind of collect those, there's that. I see some other deals here. And this, again, this bottom portion is for pre-owned. If you wanted the original Xbox One, like when it first came out, then they do have those uh, refurbished for $150. But keep in mind that it doesn't have the 4K media playback. And I think there might be another feature. I just can't remember it on top of my head. But for sure that this one doesn't have a 4K media player. But it would still play, you know, DVDs and Blu-rays. I would see some pre-owned deals here. Let's see, Gears of War 4 is a must-have for Xbox owners. Dying Light's also not bad. Naruto is a fun game. Let's see, Red Dead Redemption. This is backwards compatible with the Xbox One. So, I mean, we're, there's a second one coming up. If you never played the first one, I mean, got to pick that up. And, of course, uh, Halo 5, a really fun addictive multiplayer story. Eh, was a bit mad on that side. Next up on page number 10, we're getting to the Nintendo section. Uh, there's really not too many things going on, just advertising the Black Friday special this time around for Nintendo is this uh, limited edition Nintendo 2DS, the original one, not the new one, and you get a pre-installed Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. That's really about it. Fortunately, no special edition 3DS like last year where it was like 100 bucks. Um, let's see, on the bottom here, they do have some nice deals for some of the third-party Switch games, as to be expected. Uh, Batman the Telltale series, which honestly, I did not know that was out on the Nintendo Switch, but it is. Let's see, Dragon Ball Z Universe 2 and Rayman Legends are not too bad of a title. Bomberman, I still feel like it's overpriced. And of course, you know, a lot of the first-party Nintendo Switch games won't be on sale, but I mean, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild is a recommendation and Super Mario Odyssey, but uh, you might want to also double check Toys R Us because I think they had like a buy one, get one half off deal. I'd see nothing much here to mention as far as deals go. These are kind of uh, a little bit higher priced than what I would expect. Over here on the bottom in their pre-owned section, they do have the uh, a pretty good deal for Pokemon games. Uh, these are $20 each or three for 40. So this will apply to XY, Sapphire, and Ruby. I kind of went backwards when I pointed my mouse over here. And that's about it. Uh, the Nintendo Wii U is actually still high priced, even though no one's buying those, which I'm actually kind of surprised about. Going on to uh, the next page, which is page 11 here. Some minor deals. I mean, they got a Pikachu plushie with a Santa hat. Doesn't get any better than that. That's a recommendation for sure. But these are all $10 each. So if you kind of collect the plushies, there you guys go. But I mean... Santa Hat Pikachu, it's a must have. Or there's even a Pikachu charger for five bucks. Another good deal. Let's see, they got some, basically some of the GameStop locations actually has a Pokemon Center there. So some of the exclusive items, uh, such as the pin sets, these cool little figurines. Uh, even this one here, the Pikachu with the Ash Hat. Man, it's actually pretty expensive, but uh, yeah, there's that. Uh, not too much going on here. I'd probably say the only mentions here is um, if you've been wanting to get an HTC Vive, the lowest price that you could find them right now is $600. Pretty good deal. And of course, you also get a free GameStop gift card. This is for $50. And right now, the bundle for the HTC Vive is that this will include a copy of Fallout 4, a digital version, which will be coming out on December 12th. And then the other worthy noticeable difference here to note is if you've been wanting to get a microphone, uh, this is a really good one. This is actually what I use. This is the Blue Yeti microphone. This is for $100, a little bit of a limited edition theme, but this one also comes with a free copy of Assassin's Creed Origins on PC, so not bad. And of course, you could also save $20 on the Assassin's Creed Origins Hidden Blade, which honestly didn't look the best to me. Uh, just, again, my overall opinion. Now, this is one of the pages that was changed around. If you guys recall on the leaked ad, this was actually divided by half and to promote the new rental service that they had going on. So instead of that, it just basically a big old page that says you buy two, get one free on all the pre-owned products, which applies to both games and accessories. And in addition to what we didn't get last time in the leaked ad is this page here. So we have uh, some minor deals going on over here. Uh, nothing too crazy. Some minor deals for some LEGO Dimension figurines. And they actually have, oh, hey, they got the uh, Razor Fight Stick, arcade stick, 130 bucks. Oh, I want one now. 
Okay, so I didn't see this page yet, but I just knew they added to it. So, I mean, they have the Razer Fight Stick, which I know are pretty good, and you could also customize it. So the Xbox version is $130, while the PlayStation 4 version is 160 I think they should have been the same price, in my opinion, but I need to see if my local game store will have one of these because I really want one of them. I mean, these are normally $200, so that's a pretty good saving. Uh, some gaming chairs and some of their PC options. Uh, and, of course, we also have page 14. Here we go. Let's see, down here, they've actually been adding some really cool hoodies in there. So 40% off these select hoodies. A pretty good deal, and I'm not sure if this will apply to some of the ugly sweaters that they have there. Uh, you know, kind of like the Christmas theme. But, again, they have different hoodies for some of the different superheroes. As you guys could see, even one for Super Mario. They're actually really soft. I have one myself. They're really comfortable, by the way. Uh, but I do keep in mind that um, you know, as far as machine washing goes, make sure you get like a size up by one or two because they will shrink down a bit. And that's pretty much it about it. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Like I said, the link to this ad is in the description below. Until then, I am Sir James from GamerFusion.com. And if you guys are going to Black Friday shopping, then please make sure you are safe and hopefully you get whatever deals you wanted to get. Until then, see you guys next time.